Hey friends, it's Jessie. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to my first update of the Deck of Panning project pan. This project was created by Emily here on YouTube. I will of course link her channel down below. She was inspired by another YouTuber over in the book space to create this project and curate it towards the beauty community. If you're new to my channel or haven't heard of this project, essentially there is a game board every month. I will pop up a picture of this month's game board. It changes every single month so the prompts are completely randomized and you need a deck of cards. So you pull out a card from your deck of cards and find the corresponding prompt on the game board and you pick a product that corresponds with said prompt to either hit a usage goal or hit pan. I did a mix of both usage goals and pan this month and we made a ton of progress. I can't wait for you guys to see. So let's go ahead and jump right in. To start out, I'm just gonna share the progress I have on each item first, and then we can go ahead and do our roll-ins. So the first product I've been working on, the prompt I pulled was affordable, and the product I chose is my Super Shock Cheek in the shade Count Me In. I had a goal to finish this up. It had a pretty big pan, when I rolled it in and I feel like we've made quite a significant amount of progress so far. It's definitely pretty easy to work into looks. I used this blush 18 times since my intro. I will say that is a pretty good amount of times to use a blush. We are slowly but surely making our way through it. My husband thinks it looks the exact same. I am convinced it looks fairly different. But our goal is ultimately to finish off this blush. These blushes are that super putty-like creamy texture. So it's pretty easy to work through it. It was very easy to hit pan on this shade, honestly. So to have a pretty big pan, I'm sure you can tell in the progress photos, we are slowly getting there. It's definitely going to be a long haul item, but I'm excited with where we're at for this update. For my second prompt, I had the prompt hit a new pan. And for that item, I chose my Urban Decay Naked Cherry Palette. I already had two pans in this palette. And so I decided to roll in a shade from it that was pretty close to pan. We rolled in this nice beigey shade Caution. And as you can see, I did manage to hit pan on the shade. I only used it three times and I hit pan literally the first time I used it when rolling it in. So that was a very easy win for this month. I love this palette. I pulled it out for Valentine's Day and all those love season type looks. It was so fun, but I'm excited to roll this out and pick something different to focus my efforts on. But I'm loving how loved this palette is looking. This is my favorite naked palette out of all of the ones that have been released. And now it definitely looks like it is the most loved naked palette in my collection. Prompt number three was pick a highlight. I I chose my Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter in Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. These are highlighter duos. There is a more softer natural side and a blinding shimmery side. I had already had pan in the soft side, so my goal was ultimately to hit pan in the shimmery side. I have written down that I used this highlight 10 times since rolling it in, and that is 10 times of using the shimmery side. I am not counting the soft side, although as you can tell, I have made a little bit more progress on that side too. I like to use the shimmery side on my cheekbones. It is what I'm wearing today. And then I'll use the softer, more natural side on my nose or my brow bone, just more subtle areas. But I love the glittery side for a nice cheek highlight. I just think it looks so pretty. It is definitely gonna take us a little while to hit pan this is another one that's going to take me a little while. I am trying to focus my efforts to where the FB for Fenty Beauty is embossed. My thought process is theoretically once I kind of get through that embossing, I'll be pretty close to pan because these are pretty shallow and I feel like the embossing itself goes pretty close down to the pan. So that is ultimately my goal. We're at 10 uses. We're getting there slowly but surely. I'm pretty happy with 10 uses and it's been great to work into looks, especially because it has that faint pinky hue and with spring around the corner, I'm definitely gravitating more towards those pinky sparkly things. Prompt number four was a baked item and honestly, I went through my entire collection and I could not find a single baked item. The closest I could find was my MAC Mineralize blush in the shade Sweet Enough. It has kind of that baked texture baked look to it but it is not a baked item but this was the closest thing I found so that is what I chose to roll in. My goal was to use this 20 times and I surpassed that goal with 22 uses. This was super easy to combine with the super shock blush that we were working on as well. I love this for just a nice natural soft blush. I would find myself using the super shock right up here like in my cheeks. I typically do a lot of blush in general and then I would take sweet enough just on a very light powder brush 
and just kind of sweep it right under my eyes for that kind of sun-kissed glow look. I am very happy with how this is looking. This was one of my holy grail blushes for the longest time and we are definitely starting to look a lot more flatter than it was prior to rolling it in. There is a lot of love on here. I would love to hit pan on this in the future, but I am content with rolling it out for now. 20 uses was a good goal for this one. I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to roll this one out. And the fifth and final prompt I have is a spray. So for the spray, I decided to roll in my Hourglass Veil Setting Spray. This was a pretty pricey item. I purchased this when Hourglass came to Ulta Beauty. I had heard so many good things about Hourglass's setting powders. I've heard good things about their foundations, their concealers, and I was feeling a little bougie. I wanted to try something more expensive. Expensive. So I picked this up. Honestly, I was not a fan prior to rolling it in. I had used it a few times and I felt like it really didn't do much for my makeup. I will typically spray a setting spray like this all over my face after I finish my base and then pat it in with my beauty blender to help that melt everything together. My goal for this product was to use it 20 times, same as the blush, and I did surpass that with also 22 uses. I would eventually like to finish it. I believe last time when I rolled it in, we were about halfway. I would say we're about, there's a third to a quarter left. There's not a ton left in here, but it is more of that misty spray, so it lasts a really long time. After using this for a solid month as almost my sole setting spray, I've actually grown pretty fond of it. Would I spend 40 plus dollars to get this again? Probably not, but I don't hate it. I don't really like it for full coverage makeup, but today I'm wearing my Rare Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, and I do really like it with lighter things like that. I feel like it works a lot better. For my heavy duty full coverage, I still feel like I need to reach for my Urban Decay All Nighter. It's just, it's just a thing I do. But 20 uses, we smashed that goal as well. So the ColourPop blush and the Fenty highlighter are both staying in. I'm determined to meet those goals no matter how long it takes me. I wanted some more long-term goals. So with that, we have three prompts to roll in. I have not even touched my deck of cards since the intro. So I'm just gonna do a quick shuffle roo and we will go ahead and pick some prompts. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good about this month and the prompts have been changed since the intro. Like I said, they change every month. So we are going to have a whole new game board to look at. Okay, let's do this. Ready? First card, five of diamonds. Five of diamonds is a nail polish and I don't have nail polish because I get my nails done professionally. They are luminary nails, so I do not own any nail polishes anymore. I actually recently decluttered the rest of my nail polishes, so I'm gonna have to re-roll for that. There's no way I'm gonna be able to use a nail polish. I don't have any, and I get my nails done every four weeks religiously. So we're gonna pick a new prompt. That one's not gonna count. New prompt, the Queen of Hearts. I love a good Queen of Hearts. Alice in Wonderland, anybody? Queen of Hearts is easy peasy lemon squeezy. I already have an idea for this one. Literally my makeup life now consists of me trying to find products in my collection that would be easy to use up or finish or pan. Second card, we have the Nine of Diamonds. Nine of Diamonds is kid slash pet choice. So my furry son, Bruce, will be picking an item for me. I will most likely narrow it down to a couple items and then let him choose. He has a command where he comes up and touches something. So I will let him pick which item he wants to use. And I will, of course, film that. And the third and final prompt, the Queen of Spades. The Queen of Spades is in it for the long haul. So we are going to have to pick another long haul item. No worries there. I am going to go ahead and hop off camera for a second, find some items, and then I will meet you guys back here once I've chosen my new selections. We are in the bedroom. I have two bronzers for Bruce to choose from. I have the Urban Decay Beach Bronzer, and I also have the regular Benefit Hula Bronzer. Both of these are bronzers I want to pan. So I'm gonna see which one he wants for us to pan. Bruce, Bruce. Sit. Touch. And hula it is. And we are back with the products. So first up, I'm gonna just recap for our affordable prompt. We are going to try and finish the Super Shock Cheek product in Count Me In. This is a beautiful rosy blush. 
I think it'll be pretty easy to work through and I'm pretty sure it won't take us too much longer. For the highlighter prompt, we are going to try and hit pan on the shimmery, glittery side of my Fenty Kilowatt highlighter. Again, one that I'm reaching for pretty consistently. I have a Shop My Stash that went up on Friday and I actually took out all of my highlighters except for this one, so I will be forced to use it a little bit more. For the Queen of Hearts prompt, we have Easy Peasy Lemon Squeezy and guys, I think I win at life at this prompt. I have this Jeffree Star lip balm in the shade Cowboy Kiss. It is a tinted lip balm and my goal is to finish it. This is all I have left. This is all I have left. I've been working on it for literally a month and this is all I have left. I will be done with it any day now. I am so close to being done with this lip balm. So that is my easy peasy lemon squeezy prompt. I was actually going to use a different item, but then I remembered I had this and it's technically a beauty item. The Nine of Diamonds prompt was Bruce's choice, and as you guys saw, I gave him the choice between Urban Decay Beach Bronzer or Hula Benefit, both of which are bronzers I want to pan this year, and he chose Hula for us. This is, I think, my oldest bronzer. I have a pretty good dip. It's hard to show this box. You can't really tell because these box packagings are literally the worst, but there is a pretty big dip formed in there. I'm not sure how long it's going to take for us to hit pan, but I'm, I'm down to see. So... Hula bronzer is what Bruce picked for us. And then the queen of spades was in it for the long haul. I decided to choose a shade out of my ABH sultry palette. And I want to finish up fresh, which is this matte cream white shade. I have finished eyeshadows before. I have finished Too Faced shadows and it took me absolute ages to finish up that matte white. So I'm hoping that this will also take a little bit longer. I feel like it's easy enough because I can use it every single day in every single look to set my eyeshadow primer, but there's still enough product in here that I think it will take me quite a while to finish it up. But that is where we are at. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And this is my first year doing the deck of panning project. So if you're new around here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe before you leave. And with that, I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye friends.